by Joe Cerrone and Alan Rosen. Welcome to KID 134 in our Zoom classroom meeting. Okay, so we've released the last module, which is chapter 12. In chapter 12 is elevation drawings of the hotel suite project. And in, in that project, we go through and we create elevation views. We apply annotation, text, and dimensions. We use multi-leaders and we create layout pages. And layouts we've worked with have the viewport scale and the drawings accurately created. If we take a look at the content section, we have module 12 located right here. And there's the information for that right here. Here's our hotel suite blocks that we'll use for that. And the video tutorial for chapter 12. So if we look at the video tutorial, We go through our floor plan exercise. And then what we do is we project down into an elevation view, the geometry from the floor plan view. And so everything lines up. And this is what we try to do in the interior design course is to make the drawing work standardized so that people that are architects or interior designers or facilities managers can read the drawings. We also want things to be accurate and placed at scale so that we can go through and measure them. So in this last exercise for the hotel suite, we create the front elevation view of the drawings as shown in the video. With the layouts and the tabs. All right, back to the main splash page, back to the content area. So module 12 is our last module and we'll follow the textbook format for that. And so if we look at our textbook chapter for chapter 12, in this chapter we go through and we create these elevation drawings using the commands that we've learned throughout the course or the textbook with the blocks that we've created. And everybody's done a great job with that. And so as we tie things together and we look at our outline of topics, We've color coded the assignments and the readings and the quizzes. And so here we are, complete the hotel suite project. Next week, we'll enable the final exam. The final exam, practice exam is available. And so the practice exam is available now. We can find that final exam under quizzes and exams. Practice final exam. And you can take that as many times as you like with unlimited exam attempts. Remember that the final exam will start next week and you'll have one week to complete that. The last day to turn in all your projects is on December 13th at 1159. We look at our project.
here's what the final project will look like. We're going to put that on our Oakton B size title block. And we've already gone through and created most of the furniture blocks and the layout for the information. And then what we did in this project was to project down to an elevation view. And so we have a floor plan and then an elevation. And you're welcome to add additional content and additional material, but this is all that is required to complete the course, is to complete the chapter 12. If we take a look at some of the bonus or some of the additional work that you can do, I can get my computer to work, there we go. Under content, we do have two other chapters that are not required. So if you are interested in doing some extra work, some students just love to do the work. And I'm one of those people. I've always gone and done the extra credit work and the bonus work just because it makes me a stronger designer. There's a door and window schedule, not required, but you can certainly add that to your final project. And then they go through rendering. And it's really kind of a neat aspect where you can take your add elevation drawings and then you can add gradient fills. It takes a bit of time. It's a neat technique. It looks kind of cartoony in my opinion, but it does add a nice perspective. Again, it's not required, but if you would like to do that, if you want to polish your drawings, you can do that. All right, back to the main splash page. Keep an eye on the outline of topics. Make sure that you turn in your projects. And Al and I have enjoyed teaching the course. We look forward to working with you in the advanced course. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email us. And with that, I'm going to stop the recording and open things up for questions.